morning, everyone. How are we doing? Welcome to the Game Week 30 deadline stream. Hello, team. How are we all this morning? Good to see so many of you in already. Thank you for those waiting. FPL Macken was there early. British 87 too. Uh, as well. Add noise. Um, are we well? Are we locked in? Hello, Ahil. Good to see you, man. Hope you're well. Um, it has been a while. It's been too long. We're ready for it now, aren't we? It's been too long. I think we're ready for the return of FPL. What did you guys think to the international break? Like, a bit underwhelming as always. No massive injuries, if we're honest. Like, we had players flagged that missed the internationals and are probably going to play this weekend. Saka, Gabriel, De Bruyne. I'm looking at you guys. Um, hey, I hope De Bruyne's all right. He's starting for me this week. Um, hello, Freddie. Hello, Offcore. Good to see you guys. Offcore, as always, thank you for all your support. Offcore, you may notice I have got a link in the description, or not a link, but just a push to encourage people to download my podcast. I put it in my team section video uh, because of your prompting and reminding. So thank you for that. Um, and there should be a link in this description too. Um, Jason's in the house. Hello, Jason. Good morning to you. you guys are going to be answering so many questions. We're going to talk captaincy. Hang fire for that. But you can see where I've got the armband there on the graphic. Son, for me, even if I own Salah. Um, let me just do a tad, a teeny, teeny bit of housekeeping first. I want to set myself a target this stream. A target of how many subs can I get? get today in this stream so to do that i want to see how many subs i'm starting on so currently i'm on sixteen thousand and thirty. so can we get to the big sixteen thousand one hundred? i reckon we can if we can i think we play pool that's what we do get to that sub number and then i play pool let's do that um good morning getty and rich uh of course, yeah. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Morning, nice people. Yeah, I think so, Rich. No one who watches me, watches me isn't a nice person I'm going with, genuinely. Good group of people, you lot. Uh, I choose to spend my Saturday mornings chatting with you lot. That's how much I like you. Um, I got asked the day about seeing my mates, because like, I've moved away from my mates a long time ago. Like, I moved to where the wife lives, or it's from. And I was like, I don't mind that I don't see my mates much. I see them a couple of times a year. Because most of my mates are online. <laughs> like, genuinely. Um, YouTube chat, Twitter. I'm I'm cool with that. I get loads of touch points with my mates every every Saturday morning with you lot. Um, William says, would you do Dowerty to Gusto for a minus four? If, by the way, you're watching and realize you can't ask a question in the chat, it's because you're not subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you can ask your question. Uh, would you uh, do Dowerty to Gusto for a minus four? I've just sold Dowerty about half an hour ago to Bradley. Um, for a minus four, I don't know if I would do it. Probably would because it will help you for the long run. Although you're wildcarding 35. So no, I don't think I would, William. It's 3 p.m. for me, but good morning. Ah, oh, nicer hill. Hey, Sammy. Good to see you. Brew, would you captain Sun or Salah if you had both? Genuinely, guys, I'd be captain in Son. I would be. I'd be captain in Son this game week. And when we look at Rob T's markets, uh, this is from the bookies. Rob T, if you don't follow him, FPL Rob T, Rob T FPL on Twitter. Um, when we look at like ceiling games, let's just look at them for for Liverpool, like 2.65 goals. The bookies think they'll score 2.65 goals. Spurs, they reckon will score 3.15. That sways me. Chelsea, 2.55, because by the way, I think Palmer is a very good option. I genuinely, if I wasn't captain in Son, would be very happy with Palmer. And I think I rank actually Palmer slightly higher. And this is controversial. I rank Palmer higher than Salah this game week. I'm buying Salah next week. Uh, would you start Kelleher or Petrovic? Probably Petrovic. Uh, morning all. Oh, hey, Kev. Uh, I've got a question, Jenny. Should I sell Madison? By the way, channel members, if you've got questions, get them in. Like, channel members' questions are always prioritised. If you want to be a member, it's very easy to sign up. You just click the join button under the screen. You get extra content and all sorts of jazz. So Hill's question was... Uh, should I sell Madison for Palmer from minus four? No, don't think so. Madison's a great pick this week. Palmer's obviously amazing, but for a hit, I don't think I would. Is Havertz nailed now? Will Jesus be back? I think Arsenal fans let me know in the chat, but I think Havertz will be nailed 
in one position or another. But I would be shocked to see Havertz drop now. Like Havertz, even with Gabriel back, I still think Havertz is absolutely safe. Uh, Guten Morgen, says Tinker. I have a transfer dilemma. Defender, yeah. Mm. Not a great lineup for you this week, Tinker, in the back. But next week, you will look good. You double Arsenal defence. They play Luton. Is Captain Meniz over Son a daft idea? Oh, let's have a look at Fulham. 1.95 goals. Sheffield United are poor at home. It feels a little bit too rogue for me. Owning Meniz is still big this game week. Uh, is Foden to Palmer worth a minus four? No, I don't think so. Subscribe for sure. Ah, oh, thanks, Offcore. Uh, being a member is definitely worth it with the extra videos. Ah, oh, thanks, Offcore. I hope the extra videos help. I don't do too many of them. Like, I try and do one or two a game week. It's more, I hope. Um, it's the idea of if you're subbed, I'll answer all your questions on all the comments to my videos. Um it's guaranteed sort of yeah the, the touch points i hope yeah i've been waiting a thousand years for the return of jesus yeah great easter weekend is the week though isn't it uh, morning Johnny. it's free hit 37 viable i mean yeah free hit 37 is definitely viable for me i do prefer bench boost when we look at ben krenin's ticker actually this graphic's even better um for for those that double and those that don't uh do check check these guys out on, on twitter there's a um their at the handle is is shown Teams at Dublin 34, teams at Dublin 37, and teams that won't double at all and that could double in both. That's why Chelsea and Spurs are so key after 35. But look, if we look at Ben Cranin's ticker, yeah, I don't mind at all free hit 37. I do prefer free hit 34 and bench boost 37, though. But it's team dependent, as always. Rio, uh, will you go with Madison or Gordon? Madison for me. Hey, Rowena, I hope you're good. Should I start Saka or Morris? Probably Morris. Ah, oh, Neil's with us. Good morning, mate. I know Neil, by the way, we had questions about Madison. I knew, Neil's got Madison in his wildcard team, uh, which I like for this week. And look, if you're wildcarding, and this is for Neil and anyone else out there that is wildcarding this morning, if you're doing so, then you're probably still bench boosting in 37 and you're probably free hitting in 34. So there are loads of positives to the wild card this week. The only negative is that you're doing it with 37 bench boost in mind. What I would say, however, is don't worry too much about 37 combinations for your wild card in 30. A lot of football to be played and a lot of transfers still. So sure, it's it's there somewhere in your thinking, but you definitely, definitely don't need to go, oh, I have to go X player because he doubles in 37. Six weeks of football, loads could change. What I would say if you're wildcarding now, like Neil, go big on Chelsea and big on Spurs. Because if you're free hitting in 34, Spurs blank, Chelsea of Arsenal, that's absolutely fine. And then you know you're set up well for your 36, 37 combinations when they double, double. We think they'll double, double. Also, you have a massive advantage over those that aren't wildcarding now if you're buying Spurs and Chelsea players because most like me are selling Spurs players soon and may not invest in Chelsea because of 34 and because of, yeah, because of 34. Um, so Chelsea have got great fixtures. Like Burnley and Man United are both good fixtures. Sheffield United and Everton, good fixtures. Like Chelsea, I see, I'd love to go and punt on a Jackson or Augusto this week. But because I, I'm looking at 34... As my bench, as my, um, I'm dead ending in 34 and I need 11 good players playing twice. I don't really want to be carrying Chelsea and Spurs players in 34. So I'm buying players that double in 34, Liverpool Arsenal players, for example. So it gives you a nice little differential there. If you are wildcarding now, I would be going Palmer Jackson, Gusto, Madison, Son, Porro, probably. But there's different combinations there. You could, you could look at Petrovic. You click at the Cario for sure. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at there. Guys, this is my team, by the way. Oh, you just got a little glimpse of my FPL challenge team. We'll talk about challenge in a bit. Talk about challenge in a bit. Got some stuff on challenge. Um, but look, this is my team. I have made a transfer this morning. I've gone for a punt on Bradley. I think the ceiling is too high to ignore. And I know Trent will be back soon. And when he is, I probably am not going to have Bradley's double in 34 because Trent will be around. There is a world in which both could play, but it's, it's less likely than likely. But I'm just looking at the immediate returns and go, it's Brighton at home and it's Sheffield United at home. Is it Sheffield United at home next week? I think it is. Yeah, two homes for Bradley. 
The goal threat of Bradley's huge. Did you see his um his goal for Northern Ireland in the week? Banger. Proper banger. Um so there we go. Guys, I said this morning, look, seeing as Neil's in the house, I said I'm only playing pool if we get to 70 subs for the stream. So we need to get to 70 subs, which I know is asking a lot. Usually I can blackmail with giving away free memberships, but I'm all out of free memberships until we hit April, which is like a day away, which is really annoying. So please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if we get to seven, uh, 16,100, I will be playing some pool at your requests uh, on what shots I take on. And I'll embarrass myself in front of a former world snooker champion. Um, Rowena, I bought him and his for this week. Let's see if it pays off. I like that shout, Rowena. Rich says the Bernie fixtures were too tempting. Triple Chelsea locked in. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you there, Rich. Would you go with Sack or Isak uh, up to 34? Personally, Saka. But I get the Isak love. I still think I prefer Darwin and Jackson over Isak. But I get, I get the Isak love, and he's a brilliant, brilliant option. Uh, for India, I've already done a minus four for Emmy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, he got rid of got rid of Rashford. Um, Palmer gets the armband. There we go. Look, there is a poll running. Let us know in the poll where you're thinking you're going to vote, vote, go for captaincy. Currently, the majority of you are going Son. I'm interested to know, those that own Salah, let me know in the chat. If you own Salah, are you captaining him? Uh, Lascelles at 8 Nori. Probably 8 Nori for the upside. Uh, Stefan says, got Gibbs White on the bench. Should I sell Morris from minus four? Hmm. Oh, I love that, Neil. I love that. Madison literally told Neil yesterday um, that he was going to do his best to score and assist him today. Madison, as you guys might know, is a big snooker fan. Um, so clearly talks to Neil about FPL as well. Um, and yeah, we know Madison has said at the start of this season, like the big thing for Madison when he moved to Spurs was he doesn't want to just be seen as this like creative genius, this number 10 that can link play and, and, and assist. He's like, I want to get my numbers up. And he did a few post-match interviews. I remember early in the season where he spoke about getting his numbers up. And when he's talking about his numbers, he's talking about goals and assists. And we saw he started the season quite well in front of goal and his injury didn't help him, but he does get into good goal scoring positions. And recently, Poster Coglu said off the back of a Madison goal, a couple of weeks back, you might remember, he said, Madison needs to do more to get into the box. He's constantly being asked by his manager to get in the box. Like that. It must be music to his ears, music to FPL manager's ears to own Madison. Madison's clearly a very, very, very good pick um, this week. And I love the fact he's told Neil that he's going to he's gonna try and try and get his numbers up. Neil's torn on the Son or Salah captaincy. The big thing for me, Neil, is, and anyone that's torn on this, is the first 10 minutes of Spurs versus Luton last time they played at Kenilworth Road. I've not seen a 10 minutes like it. It was nil-nil and it stayed nil-nil in that 10-minute window. But how Spurs did not score early in that game at Kenilworth Road, they ran riot. I just like this matchup. Brighton on their day could turn up. If Brighton went and got a draw, a one-all draw, you wouldn't be overly surprised. Sure, it'd be a shock. Like, I'm back in Liverpool to win. But if it was a one-all draw, I wouldn't be gobsmacked. If Spurs didn't score a couple, I'd be absolutely gobsmacked. That's why I guess I'm, I'm a bit more pro son. Um, so yeah, uh, just bought in Salah, captaining him, had it on Palmer recently. Fair enough, Sammy. Like, there's no right and wrong here. Uh, what's the membership tiers and what are the perks? Thank you for asking, Off Core. Uh, guys, if you want to be a channel member, then yeah, there's the squad tier and the ultras tier. The squad tier, um, is awesome. The squad tier gets you all the priority comments. Um, pretty much you're guaranteed a comment your comment to be shown on screen and are uh, and answered in my lives, but mostly on all the videos I do, right? If you've got a comment, ask it and I'll always respond if you're a channel member. So you have to be a channel member to guarantee that, or you have to be Neil Robertson to guarantee that. <laughs> uh, so unless you're Neil Robertson, to guarantee it, you got to be a channel member. So click join. The, the ultras tier is all the bells and whistles. It's the WhatsApp as well, of which loads of my ultras are in this morning. Good to see you guys. Uh, I, I saw Kev earlier and I'm sure Canal's in and a few others as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to just click join them, then please do consider signing up as a channel member. Where well, is supporting the channel? Uh, Rowena is in the house. Uh, Rowena says she can't afford Salah and Haaland. Yeah, I, th I think I would actually be punting on Salah over Haaland for the next couple of weeks. Looting injuries are bad. 
they are bad. They said they had to put the assistant coaches in the uh, in training this week to bulk out the numbers. Uh, oh, thanks. Get Jenny to 70 more subs this stream. Thank you, Sammy. Yeah, I'd love that. There's loads of lurkers, so if you fancy hitting the buttons, like as well, but obviously subscribe to them with the, with the notification bell. I appreciate that, Sammy. Um, ultras for the win. Yeah, Gucci. Gucci's from Australia. We have quite a few Aussie fans uh, watching. Um, Gucci, I remember last time we did a poll. or I asked people where in the world they're watching from, and we had Melbourne, Perth, Sydney, Brisbane, and I think Newcastle, Newcastle, Australia, all watching in the chat. And we only had like 200 people live. I couldn't believe it. I was like, five of them are from different corners of Australia. Uh, guys, let me know where in the world you are watching from, by the way. Uh, Michael says, would you start Chris Wood home to Palace or Jared Bowen away to Newcastle? I personally would be going Bowen, I think. I think I'd go Bowen. Uh that's the full set, yeah. Uh, Palmer's very tempted in this game week. He is, yeah. Where in the world are you watching from? Then let's get some 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 cities in. Texas, love that Anish. We've got Tony in New Zealand. Sammy's in London. Michael's in Edinburgh. Oh, I didn't know you were in Edinburgh, Michael. I forgot that. I'm sure you've said before. Ah, uh, Matthias is in Finland. Yeah, that's the move I made, Freddie. I've made that move half an hour ago. Not for a hit though. Kev's in Manchester. Manchester. Kev, are you a are you a United or a City fan? I feel like you don't support either of the Manchester teams. Let me know. West Bengal, love that. Uh, Canada, we've got Oslo represented. How oh, are you, Neil? I wondered because I saw you're away. Premier in, represented. So the world mixed doubles. Awesome. Kev, get down to Manchester to watch Neil. Um, Neil, we'll all, be, we'll all be watching you in the, uh, the worlds in... Uh, at the Crucible, in the not too distant. It's not that far away now, is it? Um, neither Blackpool. Ah, oh, that was it, Kev. I knew you're a Blackpool fan. Sunny Dorset, Freddie, representing Lulworth Cove. Uh, Ahil's in India. Ahil, I think you won a channel membership, didn't you, from me last stream I did? I've not streamed for weeks, have I? It's been ages. Um, Cheltenham. Love Cheltenham. I lived in Cheltenham for three, four years. Would you keep Bradley for ben nuclear in Bangladesh? There you go, nuclear. Would you keep Bradley for bench boost 34 or transfer him out for a hit for a Palace defender? Yeah, I might actually convert Bradley to Trent in 34. And I'll have the money because I'm looking at selling Haaland for 34. So when we look at Ben's ticker and we look at Man City's fixtures, if you can roll in 33, a Man City have Luton, by the way, if you can roll in 33 and go to 34 with two transfers... I'm okay selling Haaland for Brighton away and getting the money out of Haaland to invest it in only doublers and then wildcarding in 35. If, however, you write wild, wildcard in 36, it's risky because then you're going out without Haaland for another week. A Man City will play Forest in 35. So it all depends if you're if it, when those fixtures drop between Chelsea and, and Spurs. I might actually wildcard in 36. If we think Spurs and Chelsea double in 36, that's likely when I'll wildcard. So selling Haaland then is a little bit a little bit more risky. So I therefore might have to sell Bradley to a Palace defender, for example. But let's see. We'll know more in 33 nuclear. But my plan still is to go into 34 with two transfers and roll in 33 if I can. And I don't think that plan's going to... Unless I get injuries, I don't see me deviating too far from that. Unfortunately, I bought it right before you gave the memberships away. Ah, well, Hill, you might not have won the membership. Um... So, yeah, that's no guarantee. I only had five to give away. Um, I'll be giving away five very soon as well. YouTube give you 10 a month. Lander Lancashire, loads watching from England. Ah, oh, we don't have many in, in, in Latvia, though, so that's cool. Uh, thank you for your support all the way over in Eastern Europe. Lovely Lander Lancashire. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not two weeks, though, is it, Nuclear? Like, there's a very good chance. We have no idea if Trent's going to be back for Man United and Palace. We could see Bradley for Man United. We could see Bradley for Palace. It's not for two. It, it, two weeks is worst case scenario. I, I think Bradley will, Bradley will play versus Man United from what we've heard. Ah, there you go, Denise, from Mumbai. Excellent, excellent. 
Glad you won the membership. Guys, thank you, by the way, for supporting the channel with your likes and subscribes. If you want to know what moves I've made this week, then here is my team. So let me just talk through before, so I'm going to stop answering questions for a couple of minutes and tell you what I was thinking about doing with my team. The original plan a couple of days ago was to roll this week. I was going to roll this game week. And then next week, I was going to target um, Salah for De Bruyne. I was going to sell Dowerty to, say, a Saliba because double Arsenal defence is so, so good. And I was going to do that by downgrading a Watkins to a Cunha, a Mateta, a Meniz. And then I looked at it and thought, everyone is selling Watkins. And I'm, I, I get that because he's got City next week. But he has Brentford in 31, 32. And I quite want him for that fixture. So I'm like, if I keep Watkins, I could sell Son. So now I was like, right, I'm going to convert De Bruyne to Salah. Son can come down to an Arsenal mid. We'll talk more about that in a sec. And if he comes back as an Ars uh, I go down to an Arsenal mid, rather than go double Arsenal defence, how about I punt on, an Ars on a defender that has more upside than any of the Arsenal defenders? And that is Connor Bradley. And I think it was seeing Bradley's goal for Northern Ireland in the week that probably swung me over. And you guys know, like, I'm an eye test manager. I'm a manager that goes off punts and gut feel. So I didn't need to look at data. I just went, no, Bradley, I've watched him recently. He's always getting into attacking positions. I want Bradley for the immediate. And yes, it might mean it's a transfer out waiting to happen before 34. But I think I'm all right with that. So by buying Bradley, I go, I've not got double Arsenal defence now, and I'm not going to be able to get to double Arsenal defence, which gives me a really nice option for a differential. How many managers do you know out there with double Arsenal attack? Arsenal are a very good attack. Now, it's a bad entry point this week. It's a very good entry point for Arsenal attack next week. They play Luton at home. So that's the plan. That is the plan. I've got the exact funds to go Son to Martinelli, but Martinelli's carrying an injury. We don't even know if he's fit. And Arteta's been coy. And I look at Havertz recently and just go, do you know what? You guys know I love Havertz and FPL. I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt a few times at Chelsea. Not always with bad results either. Um, Havertz is flying at the minute. Havertz versus Luton, I like. So let's see. I'm not going to commit to that until I see Arsenal and I see how Luton defend against Spurs. But I think Luton are on the ropes defensively. So that is the plan. So next week, it'll be a minus four. Son and De Bruyne are out for Salah and Havertz. Potentially, if Watkins looks poor, I do stick with the plan and keep Son. And, Watkins, and Son looks amazing. I keep Son and I sell Watkins. And I don't go to Havertz. That's fine too. If I was to do that, I would sell De Bruyne. Let me just see how much money I would have for a Watkins replacement. So I would sell De Bruyne to Salah. I would sell, that gives me to spend on Watkins 6.5 million. Now, annoyingly, loads of the forwards I like are slightly more than 6.5 million. Like you can get um, Jackson for 6.8 limits me a little bit. If you're shopping in like the seven bracket, you can get Slanky if you've not got him. How much is Isak? How much is Isak? 7.6. Yeah. Darwin the same. Like he's like 7.5. So Darwin's the guy I would really want if I did that. So I'd probably have to take an extra hit. I'd be taking a minus eight to get Darwin in early. Which is possible. So I'd go uh, De Bruyne out, Salah in. Uh, Watkins out, Darwin in. And then to do that, I'd be, I'd need to find a million somewhere. So where do you find a million with this team? Well, you consider, I don't know. You consider a downgrade somewhere. Do you downgrade? I don't know. I don't know where you downgrade there, to be fair. I don't know where I'd want to compromise. I'm really hoping I don't see too much this week where I have to keep Son. I would like to sell Son, despite him being amazing. It's just the fact Son doesn't play in 34. Um, there we go. Ah, thank you very much, FPL Mackham. Straight in with a super chat. Um, next deadline at work. Yeah, yeah. Would you do Son Foden to Salah Havertz? Want to be different, different means keeping Watkins for Brentford. Then but that's exactly what I'm thinking of doing, Mackham. I'm like, I'm thinking of buying Salah and Havertz, and I'd be selling 
De Bruyne and Son. And that's exactly it's to be different. No one has double Arsenal attack. And I'm a little bit bored of the template. And I know my team's fairly template-y. So I like that. And then it does mean, like me, because right, you're compromising Son, you then don't have a benching dilemma because you can bench Watkins versus Man City. We're all fine benching Watkins versus Man City. And then the week after, you get a differential Watkins, what feels like a differential Watkins, because everyone else has sold him and you get him for Brentford, which, by the way, is his old club who have also been poor defensively. And then exactly that, I sell Watkins the week after for Darwin. And uh, Yeah, we are so aligned there, Macam. That's my original plan. But plans do change. Uh, but yeah, I like that very much, Macam. Thank you so much for your super chat. Really appreciate that. Is Maguire starting? Probably. Bradley to Doughty, Freddie. Good man. That's what I've done too. Morning, Johnny. How's my wild card? I don't know, Dylan. Let me, let me see it. I might be able to give a quick review. I got my free hit ready for 34. I'm not selling Son. Yeah, if you're free hitting in 34, you're a big advantage. You don't have to think about selling Son or your Chelsea players. I love I love the fact you can do that. That's the big advantage to, to those that have held their free hit. FPL Invincible, also with the Super Chat. Guys, thank you for the love this morning. Odegaard and Watkins. Mm, I love so I'm talking about Havertz. The only reason I'm talking about Havertz is I can't afford Odegaard. Odegaard would be my pick because you just know you're nailed for minutes. Odegaard and Watkins, though, you're thinking about selling. Odegaard is bad this week, but he does have Luton next week to Salah and Muniz for a hit. Personally, I would not make that move. I would not make that move, I don't think. Is there a way you can get to Salah next week? I don't think Salah. I guess it FPI Invincible. What I always think with hits, are you taking a hit to bring in a player that you want to captain? If you're captaining Salah this game week, if you know you're going to captain Salah this game week, then do it, right? Hits for a guy you think's the best captain option are absolutely fine. I do them a lot. I've done them a lot. If you think Salah's the best captain this week and you're going to give him the armband, make the move. Personally, I think Son's the better option this week. I think Palmer's a better option this week for captaincy. I know that's controversial. Um, and therefore, I like Odegaard and Watkins too. Rationale for Foden over Saka. Um, I just prefer Foden a little bit. As the, the guy playing in the slightly better team, the team I think will score more goals in this fixture. It was a chance to score more goals. The home advantage. If it was at the Emirates, might be reversing that decision. Um... Guys, thank you for voting in the captaincy poll. And apologies if you can hear my, my daughter. She's getting a bit tired. It's nap time soon. Um, should we do another poll? Should we do a poll? Let's do a different poll, which centers around Mo Salah. Because that will help Invincible with his, his decision. Um, Invincible asked a super chat, which centered around Mo Salah. If you own Salah this week... Would you cap him? Would you captain Mo Salah this week if you owned him? Yes or no? Would you captain Mo Salah this week if you owned him? I'm guessing this is going to be 50 50. Freddie says, Do I bench the Barney or Gabriel? Probably bench. Was it, oh, I don't know. Probably bench Gabriel. It depends. Should we look at clean sheet odds in a sec? Let me show you some clean sheet odds, Freddie. Arsenal clean sheet odds, 17%. Bournemouth, 26%. But Gabriel comes with goal for it. Zabani doesn't, despite his goal recently. Um, tight call. Cool. I've got two Bournemouth defenders. I've got Neto and Zabani, and I'm not backing them for a clean sheet. So I'm just hedging and going, I'm going to play Dubravka instead of Neto. And then I've got Zabani. Tight one. Tight one. How are we looking with my quest to get 70 subs in today's stream? If we get 70 subs, you guys can request what pool I play and when. And we will bring out the pool table. Uh, but I need you guys to subscribe to do that. So please do hit those buttons. Like and subscribe. Loads of lurkers that like, don't realise they're not subscribed or don't want to subscribe. And if you're wondering why you can't add a question in the chat, it's because you're not subscribed. Um, so yeah, please do hit those buttons. Um, so far, not going to lie, it's looking unlikely we're going to get there. So we need a few to hit that subscribe button if you fancy it. Um, I would caption Son, Loot and Away are awful. <laughs> I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. That's kind of where I'm at, Freddie. 
Uh, by the way, early kickoff today is Newcastle West Ham. I don't think there's many FPL managers out there sweating on team news. Obviously, if we hear anything on Twitter or whatever, the chat are always up to date. Kev's in the chat. He's always great with team news, but um, don't expect much. I'd be locking in now, to be fair. Oh, I like that. I've just seen Neil's wild card. Neil's gone Bradley on wild card. Good man. I like that. Ah, a few have gone. Ah, oh, Gucci's gifted a membership. Gucci's gifted a membership. Amazing, Gucci. Thank you, mate. How does that work? Who got the membership? Because I don't see that, do I? I don't think I see it. I think it just goes straight out. Who got the membership? Who can... Ah, oh, Grant is from Gucci's country in Perth. A uh, couple of Aussies in. I'm confused between Son and Manise for captaincy. I'd go Son. Uh, oh, yes, Sam, you will definitely do. We'll definitely do a poll there. Good idea. Where's Matthias? Oh, that is amazing, Gucci. Matthias got it. So Matthias is in the chat. He's, he was quite vocal earlier. So I'm glad Matthias has got it because he's, he's... Yeah, there we go. New channel member, Matthias. You might not know this yet, but you are, you've you got your membership in. Thank you to Gucci for that. Slightly sack it over phone because the pens. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, we'll do a new... We'll do it. Good man. Don't you just love... Don't you love the community when we can do stuff like that? Like, Gucci's in Australia. Matthias, what country are you in? Gucci's in Australia and he's just feeling, like, generous. And he goes, I'm going to gift a membership. And someone on the other side of the world can go, thanks, mate. Grab and now I'm a channel member. That's cool. That's really cool. If you want to be a channel member, guys, all you've got to do is click the word join. You can be a channel member. Channel members, as you would have noticed, to get all their questions answered um, and support the channel. Um, so if you fancy it, Gucci's one of our ultras uh, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, click the word join below the screen and you can be a channel member. If you don't want to do that and want to support the channel another way, like and subscribe, baby. Um, so where in the world is Mateus? That's what we want to find out. Where in the world is Matthias? Matthias. Or is it Matthias? My pronunciation is terrible. Uh, oh, he's in Finland. There we go. Literally, Australia to Finland. Bang. Other side of the world. Uh, if you haven't used my five memberships, then do it. I don't understand, Sigurd. I don't understand. What are you saying? How, do I have five extra memberships from you? I've used all the 10 memberships I'm allowed per month to give away. My, month, my monthly allocation refreshes tomorrow. Love the difference in this team. Yeah. Invincible is back in. Uh, he says, he's going to hold off taking a hit. Yeah. I'm glad you've come to that conclusion, mate. Uh, is Gabriel likely to play? He's still showing his yellow. Yeah, I think he'll be fine, Rowena. Yeah. Okay. If you keep asking the same question in capitals, it doesn't mean it's going to be answered, dude. I can't answer every question, I'm afraid. All I'm going to say is, yes, I've sold Doughty for Bradley. So maybe Gauti Gusto is an all right option. Big up, Danny. There we go. Um, how are we getting on with my quest for subs? Eh, that's all right. Gordon or Garnacho? Gordon or Garnacho? Hmm. Probs. Hang on. I don't know the United fixture off the top of my head. God, I've not looked at United. Yeah, Brent. Yeah, that was it. It's on Sky, isn't it? Gordon. They go to Brentford. They go to Brentford. If you've wondered why the crying has stopped, my 20 month old daughter. I think it's been taken early for her her nap. Um, yeah, Gordon all the way says Sammy. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. 
Ah, oh, Sigur, thank you. When you subscribe, you gave five memberships that you could use. Amazing. Yeah, but that was uh I think that was that that was a while ago though, wasn't it, Sigurd? I think I gave those out. I think I gave those out on the same stream. I'm just looking now. So if I go to membership. So on the chat, there's like a little um dollar sign. So for me it goes by mem it's a, no, it says membership gifting. And yeah, I have 10 free of charge memberships this month, which I've gifted. Yeah. And that includes your Sigurd, I think. I think so. Um... Um, a second. Oh, I've got some data around attackers I want to show you guys. Who do you... All right, let's do some guesses. Who do you think is top for attempts in the box this season? What fault per 90? If you've watched my team section video, you'd have seen this. Who is top for team... For touch... Forwards? Attempts in the box. A heel says Harland. Who is top? Forwards in the box. Forwards with attempts in the box. Who is top? Which... Foden is top for midfield shots, by the way. So it's not Foden. Watkins, Nunes, Darwin, Darwin. Top for shots in the box, forwards. Yeah, a lot, to be fair, a lot, lot of going Darwin, a lot of going Watkins. I would have guessed Haaland by country mile. Like, Haaland's missed tons of chances this season, hasn't he? The answer is... Darwin. Attempts in the box per 90... Over four and a half, nearly five attempts per game. Yeah, Enzo's got it. That's mental, isn't it? No, Jackson doesn't even feature. This is the top three, six, seven. Mental. These numbers are scary, aren't they? That's why I really want Darwin. <laughs> I think we have to wait till game week like 33 to get him, though. It's annoying. Yeah. I thought, these, I thought these numbers were really cool. Do, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Sort your bunnies at. Uh, Darwin has Andy Cole numbers. I met Andy Cole the other day. Yeah, fake FPL Harry's just been banned off call. <laughs> that is a request from Harry. <laughs> um, Petrovic. Yeah, close, Mackham. Yeah, Andy Cole. I met Andy Cole and I was like, hey, Andy. Um, we just sat there in the green room before the FPL show. He was doing a show after that. I was like, do you play fantasy? Do you play FPL? He was like, what's, what's FPL? I told him, he was like, oh, yeah, that. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And then he continued to be like, Everyone's an expert these days. Oh, ouch. So what are you here for today, Johnny? Oh, I'm here as an expert for the Premier League. <laughs> uh, I didn't say that, clearly. Um, benching Haaland? Are you mad, Joe? I mean, I'm benching Saka, so. I'll never forget when I differential captain Hart Darwin, he hit the woodwork four times. Gucci, I think I was with you that week. I think I did the same move. Maybe he wasn't my captain and it was just really differential owning him, but I definitely owned him. Uh, yeah. Off call, that is legit from the other day as well. I actually sent my, uh, I think, 
Did I send the Ultras members a photo of me sat across the table going, guess who? And they guessed Andy Cole. I think I put it in the WhatsApp group for channel members. Um, Gucci, you were in the group. Did you see that message? I think I did. Uh, top three Liverpool players to have for game week 34. Easy, this one. It'll be Trent because he be, should be back. Salah and Darwin. Yeah. It's a fairly easy one. Cold. Ice cold from Andy. Um, nice bloke, though. Uh, I'm on wildcard, British 87, and Darwin not coming in till the week after. If it, yeah. Eight Nori or Gabrielle? Probably eight Nori. Just. Probably eight Nori. Uh, 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 uh. I'm also thinking of benching Harlan instead of Foden. Oh, wow. I mean, guys, play your own game, right? Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. Would you bench Saka or Douglas Louise? Let me show you my team in terms of who I'd bench. Oh, are we playing FPL Challenge, by the way? Let me know if you're playing FPL Challenge. Oh, okay. We'll do an FPL Challenge poll in a sec. If you own Salah this week, would you captain him? 65% have said yes. Fair play. Fair play. Um, um, Let's do another poll. Let's do a poll around FPL Challenge. Uh, FPL Challenge. I'm way up for playing, by the way. FPL Challenge. No, Salah's fine. Salah is fine. Oh, the ID to join FPL Challenge is below on the strap. Join my mini league, WBM3V3. Yeah, off course. Check out the strap at the bottom. I'm giving, I've got my both codes there for like FPL Normal and for FPL Challenge. Yeah, I mean, the team's going to be great every week, aren't they? Like, they're going to be fun. Here's my team. The reason I've got Trent and Timber in is I think there's a loophole. I think if you've got an injured player, you can... that or, Your bench players will auto-sub in for them, right? So on my bench, I've got Adogi Robinson, for example. If Robinson and Adogi do well, I will let them auto sub in. If they don't, I can sell Trent and Timber and buy Van Dyke and Bradley. Yeah, thank you, Delia. Oh, you're on it. Oh, I'm so glad Delia's in. Yeah, I've tried to I've tried to ban that account live, and I don't know if I've done it properly, but yeah. Um, if you're wondering why you can't add your question to the chat, you need to subscribe to do so. So please hit the subscribe button and ask me a question. Um, da -da -da -da. I hope Salah's out. I don't know him yet. That would be nice. It's, he's not, though. He's, he's good. Uh, oh, my God. Are you, Delia? That's amazing. Hi, Janny. Bench Gordon, Palmer, or Foden? Mm. Gordon. Definitely not Palmer. Christ. Uh, Macamaster Super Chat earlier. Uh, I'm playing, but not cheering on players I don't want to do well. Yeah, exactly. It's sort of a bit of casual play, isn't it? 
that you play without much thought when it's a secondary game like that. A bit like me with Serie A fantasy. Like I play it every week. I enjoy it loads, but I don't sweat over my transfers and I don't let it affect my, um, oh, thanks, David. Um, and I, I don't do it to, and like, it doesn't affect my weekend. FPL, with regret, occasionally does affect my weekend. Hmm, you reckon off core? Uh, I don't think I don't think Angie's going Liverpool, but yeah, Liverpool fans, I'm sure would love that. Um, so yeah, challenge: pick a couple of teams you really want to go big on. So for me, it's like Spurs, Chelsea, Liverpool, Fulham, and then you just back those teams to do well. Ah, oh, the flying nuggers in bench: Sackle, Odegaard, Odegaard. Uh, just go pens. Ah, oh, David was recommended by his mate. Thank you, David. That's really cool to know. Who's your mate? Um, but thank you for joining. Look, it's great that like these streams aren't my streams aren't my bread and butter. If I'm honest, like, I've started doing deadline streams, but I can't do every game week because I have various commitments on Saturday mornings. Like I do Sky Sports News a couple of times a month, and with that, that's just before the deadline. So I can't be consistent with them. But on this very YouTube channel, what you will get consistency from is my my videos. So the videos I think are great. So make sure you go and check out the vids that I make. There's sort of 10, 15 minute vids every game week. Um, but come along to the lives at any point as well. My Spurs mates are driving me nuts with Ange. Like he's the second coming of crazy. Yeah. I hear you there, off call. I must admit, like I like Postacoglu a lot, but at the same time, I'm a bit like, whoa, let's slow down a bit. Like he's not peak Ancelotti. Um, yeah. Foden and Watkins out for my knees and Salah. Oh, if you're captain in Salah, then yes. If you're not, then no. A lot of hits, a lot of four point hits come down to me. So if you're going to captain that player, then take the hit. If you're not going to captain the player, then sometimes don't. Um, captaincy is such a big part of the game if you believe the best captaincy option is someone you've not got and you can only get them by hitting them in you want to do that move and do it uh, guys how are we doing for likes in today's show how are we doing for likes how are we doing for likes let's have a look can we get to 100 oh we're 75 tell you what i'd love to do is get to some some healthy subscribe numbers if anyone's fancies it huh who do you support, Rowena? Um, so, yeah, my team, I'm captain in Son. I've bought in Braddy this game week. Pretty happy with that move. Like, Doughty's going to be fit. Oh, gosh, really, FPL Harry? I don't know where CH is. She wasn't around yesterday either. Um, Captain Salah as Vice is on Solemn. All right, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, well, we. How do we feel about the deadline? How do we feel about there being a deadline on Tuesday, literally, around the corner? Mm. Um, I'm quite pumped about that. I'm pumped about a four-point hit. I think I'm... Yeah. Salah's going to be in for everyone by next week. He's going to be everyone's captain. But I'm, I'm pumped by the idea of going Havertz. Do you guys think I'm mad? Do you guys think I'm mad for going Havertz next week? Do tell me. I think I am. Let's see how he plays. Havertz for Luton at home. Bang. Bench Watkins. Happy days. That's the plan for 32 for me. 31 for me. Uh, I'm so happy FPL is back. So off yeah. I think, yes. It's been a long couple of weeks. Oh, how are you, David? Good stuff. Okay, a few of you, a few of you are with me on there. 
I might go Havertz next week as well. Yeah. Like, I think if money wasn't an issue, I'd go Odegaard. Because I just know in 34, when Arsenal double, you want that guarantee, don't you? You want the guarantee. Like, Arsenal's double in 34 is Wolves, Chelsea. But before that, the fixtures are good too. Havertz, in theory, should start both games. And the beauty of Havertz is even if he doesn't start, he does always play and he's a threat off the bench. And you'll definitely get one start in the double. But Odegaard is like 90 minutes, bang, bang, bang. But let's see how Havertz plays against Man City. I still think with Jesus in the team, you could see Jesus left, Havertz number nine. You could see Jesus number nine, Havertz playing in the midfield three. I don't think there's too many worlds at the moment where Havertz is benched because he's been playing that well. Scored for Germany too. David, can you let me know, or can someone let me know in the chat, what minutes he got for Germany in the two games? I feel like he started both, but I feel like he came off early, definitely in one of them, like 70 minutes. Just let me know. I want to know his minutes over the international break, if pos. I could look myself, but I think you guys can can help me out on that one, hopefully. Um, so yeah, look, the idea of having double Arsenal attack is a real nice differential. A real nice differential move this week. Um, Gabriel Jesus isn't an option because of his injury. I don't know if he's even ready to start. Didn't didn't make the Brazil squad. He's had a lot of issues with injuries, hasn't he, since he's been at Arsenal. Probably had a lot of injuries. Excuse me. At Man City as well. Issues with injury at City. We just didn't see him and always in the 11, so it's harder to tell. I'm on wild card. Love that trim. Thoughts on going for Robinson instead of a doge? Yeah, I prefer a doge though. The beauty of wild card is if you've got free hit 34, it depends. If you've got free hit, if you've got free hit 34 up your sleeve trim, then go a doge. If you don't, then go Robinson. Tighten the fiction with Arsenal players seems smart. Yeah, it's just no one has double Arsenal attack. This is the point in the season to try and mix it up a little bit. And look, when you're looking at some of the differential shouts, sometimes it's really punty. You buy bad average players from bad teams. But we're talking about going double Arsenal attack, like one of the best attacks in the league. And a player like Havertz has been super consistent of late. Now, I'm not one to look at previous week's points and go, that's why I'm buying that player. I buy players because I like what I see on the pitch, not necessarily what I like in terms of the outcome. But we've all seen how he plays. But if we're looking at purely on outcome, 7-14, 14-12, like big returns. And that translates to one, two, three, four goals in his last four games and three assists in those games. He's had seven returns in four games and he's looked good, right? The data's there, but more importantly for me, he's looked the part. He's loving this role, man. He's loving Arteta. Uh, do we know how many minutes uh, Havertz got or shall I have a Luke myself? Saka or Foden for start? A lot are asking that. Easy one for me. I'm starting Foden. I know Saka has the penalty appeal, but it's just the better, the better. Pick the guy. Okay, let's do a poll, shall we? Let's do a poll around Arsenal City and outcome. By the way, only half of you are playing FPL Challenge. It's really interesting. Um, all right, let's do a new poll. Man... City versus Arsenal. City win. Arsenal win. If Arsenal win, I actually think they'll win the league, but I don't think they'll win. <laughs> um, my vote would be City win. It'd be four points between the two. You're not going to get too many points dropped. Uh, not from not from the, whoever wins the title. Does anyone else think Arsenal could smash him? Oh, wow, Gucci, that is a bold call. Uh, I tell you what, guys, I've done a poll, so get voting, but also give me your score predictions in the chat. So, Gucci, I'm guessing you're going for like 3 0 Arsenal, are you? Give me your score predictions in the chat. While you're doing that, I'm going to look at Havertz minutes because I really want to know. Um, right, Germany results. Let's have a quick look. 
So they've had two games. We saw them beat France. That was a, that was a, yeah, like that. Havertz started and came off. Oh, bloody Google doesn't tell me the minutes. But that's fine. I know he came off. And I'm sure it was around 70 minutes on one of them. And then, yeah, he he played number nine in both games and came off in both games. I really want to know the minutes now. Should I check it out? You're going for big, yeah. Kev's gone for two in Arsenal. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to look at the Germany games. I just want to know Havertz minutes. He came off in both games. He played number nine in both, and Germany won both games, right? Uh, he scored against France, not against... Um, right, 73 minutes against the Netherlands. And against France... I'm on sofa score, 80. 80 minutes. Numbers looked all right. Sofa score is great for stuff like that, just quick. Um, Matthias says, hopefully City doesn't win the league because they'll have more league titles than Everton. Yeah. 2 1 Ar- a few, I'm surprised that a few are going Arsenal. All right, we're going to do a new poll in a minute about who's actually going to win the title. But 52% of you do think Man City will beat Arsenal. 20% going for the draw, 27% going for an Arsenal win. Let's end that poll then and just do a simple shoot, straight out shootout, shall we? Who will win the league? City, Liv, Arsenal. <sighs> Should I start Ray or Ariola? Raya for me, definitely Raya. I know, I know, City will score, but Raya could be really busy. I can't guarantee Ariola will be busy. When I've got two keepers, I don't think we'll get a clean sheet. I just go for the one that I think will get more save points, usually. Alanga or Morris? Probably Alanga. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. There's 30 minutes to go. Get locking in those teams. Uh, very soon. Look, it's not like we're waiting on anything this morning, is it? There's no, there's no, no one really invested in in Newcastle. I don't think, or um, West Ham. A few out there might own Trippier. Worry about his fitness. Right. We've seen my team. We've seen my challenge team. We spoke a bit about challenge. Odds. Highest scoring teams this week. You've got to be backing Spurs. You've got to be backing Liverpool. And guys, Chelsea. I genuinely think if you don't want to captain Son this week, you're captain Palmer. Ice G. Does FPL challenge sub in your highest scoring bench order or does it follow say, follows order, I think? Uh, do you think Arsenal win if City are missing KDB? Possibly. I still think I back City to find a way. I think Liverpool win the league. With the league, they've been missing. Yeah, it's fair enough, Core. Cool. That's fair enough. Like, it's, I'm, I'm backing City or Arsenal. I, I'm going to discard Liverpool. But I do get that narrative as well. Like it's such a tight call. Like no one knows. You can't really say with authority on this one. The smart money, I think, will be on City because they've been there done the last few seasons. But at the same time, this weekend is massive. If City lose this week on Sunday, if they if Arsenal beat them, I genuinely might rule City out. I don't know. The games between them are so so big. Arsenal still have to play Liverpool, do they? Let me just check that. You know, the easiest way of checking is just to load Ben's ticker, isn't it? Uh, Arsenal. No, they've played. Okay, they don't have to play each other. And City obviously play Arsenal. Do Liverpool have to play City? 
No. No, we've seen that. Yeah, we saw that recently, didn't we? Um, okay, so there we go. 54% of you are going City. I'm not surprised Liverpool is second. I thought you'd all rule Arsenal out. But I also would just throw it out there. There are more Liverpool fans than Arsenal fans watching, I'd say. Although not many are watching. What has happened this morning? Where is everyone? I guess you're all on the big YouTubers. Uh, company's going for wins instead of compact and draws as they need a miracle to stay up. Yeah. But Neil, don't you think he's done that since day one? I'm like, it stinks of, I don't know. I really like company and I really like that Burnley have tried. I'm like, it just, it's just naive. Like you can't come up to the Premier League and play the same football that won you the championship. Do you remember Norwich a few years ago were amazing in the championship and they came up and tried playing the same way? I think it was Farkas Norwich, who's now doing really well with Leeds. It's like, you just you just can't out football teams in the Premier League when you've got worse players. <laughs> That's why managers like Sean Dyche and Sam Allardyce and at times Harry Redknapp in years gone by. That's why they've been like dubbed so such geniuses. Because it's like, um, it's like, they they found a way. Um, they've they've been able to just be amazing. Um, I don't know if they go down, which they will, Burnley. You'd want to keep company. I think you've got to keep company because he can win you the championship with that core of players. He's shown that. But I would be tempted to either have some guarantee from him that he's going to mix it up and play different football next season. If he's not willing to do that, unfortunately, I'd replace him. Like, replacing a guy that's just won the championship sounds mental. But if he comes up in two years' time and plays exactly the same way, he's going to get spanked again. Um, I don't know. That's my take. Let me know if you guys agree. Do you agree with that? Um, da, 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 yeah, the American owner does. Yeah. And I'm glad, like, I want managers like Company to do well. And look, if Company was in a bigger club with better players, then his football was clearly very good. But yeah, I think Burnley come and play at Stamford Bridge. And that's why I like Palmer as a captaincy option. Is this a good week to part? part? Yeah. Genuinely, Chris, I'd go Palmer over Salah captaincy this week. I don't know why, but I would. Well, I do know why. I prefer the fixture. It's the same thing that happened with Leeds. Yeah, Gianpaolo. Yeah, a little bit. Although Bielsa's first season, he did keep him in the league, didn't he? Yeah, I like the, Nor I like the Norwich example even better. Ironically, the Leeds manager is the guy I'm talking about from Norwich, uh, Farker. Yeah, let's see what money he has, though. I do remember Pookie. The Pookie party. I haven't seen the Burnley documentary. I've seen a lot of them. I saw the Sunderland one, obviously seen like the the bigger teams, City and Arsenal, but I hadn't seen the Burnley ones. Are good. They're good. Uh, ah, Safwan is on wildcard, like a few watching right now, including Neil, but he doesn't have his bench boost left. Is it a good chat to get Moniz over Semenyo for the next two? Yeah. But I don't know if I'd book in a transfer on a budget forward. Probably just go straight to Semenyo. Oh, is it not a good doc? <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. Um, there we go. Guys, we're not going to hit my subscriber target. And with that, I don't think there's going to be any pool today, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Um, also, I know Neil's watching and that just makes me nervous. <laughs> uh, Neil, do you know what? Genuinely, we should meet up for a game. Like, just to knock about in a pub. Um, if you're up for that, let's do that because you're not too far from me. Um, I'll DM you about that. Although I know you're always traveling, and as am I, guys. I'm going to miss a couple of deadline streams. I am going to Miami in a couple of weeks, and then I'm going to Seattle in the same trip. Do you know how far it is from Miami to Seattle, guys? Guess how long it takes to fly in the chat between Miami and Seattle without googling it, and I'll tell you the answer. How long does it take to fly from Miami to Seattle? If you don't know the geography of the US, that is one corner to the other, give or take. 
Miami to Seattle, how long is the flight? Guesses in the chat. Um, by the way, it's a lot quicker to fly from Seattle to Miami, but I'm talking about Miami to Seattle because of the winds. It's actually about 40 minutes difference. Annoying. Um, so I'm going the long way. Five hours, 15 minutes. Is it five hours, six hours, nine hours, three, six? Yeah, that's it. Do you, know, you guys, I would have guessed five. Um, it's more than six. It's get a bus. Yeah. Um, it's more than six. Guys, to drive it on a bus is 48 hours. Just, just, just FYI. Just Googled it. Uh, to use public transport, okay, there's no train options. Trains in America are rubbish. Uh, but to fly, six hours, 45 minutes. Long. But yeah, I will be writing FPL articles and planning teams. So let me see what weeks I'm missing then. Okay, if we look at the next couple of game weeks. So we've got game week 31 coming up is the Tuesday deadline. Brilliant. I'll be streaming that night. Um, then it's the 6th of April for game week 32. I'm around that weekend. Oh, I'm on Sky. No, I'm on the FPL show on the Friday before. Fine. I'll be streaming Game Week 32, I think. Game Week 33, 13th of April. No stream. I'll be on Sky. And then I leave like the Tuesday after that. It's a couple of days later, which means I'm away for Game Week 34, which is the 20th of April, which at the moment has a 1.30 deadline. 1 30 deadline where am i going to be i'm gonna, oh into miami play that night i'm going to hopefully get tickets to see messi they play at 7 30 that night i could stream from miami that morning depending on my hotel wi-fi maybe and then the week after that is game week 35 which is yeah another saturday week which is great i'll be um i'll be back for that one now game week 35 oh no i'm going to be away from my bet for my 34 damn there are no midweek game weeks come by the way guys the midweek game weeks the only one is next week then that's it for midweek game weeks this season it's a bit sad love a midweek game week bit of a mouthful midweek game week um hey team if you're watching got any last minute questions let me know yet if messi's fit i hope he is i'm i'm not paying 150 dollars for a ticket if messi's out I'm not gonna lie probably just won't go <laughs> although i have got a meeting with into miami on the friday and they play on the saturday and i'm really hoping the meeting goes so well that i can be like you got any tickets for tomorrow because they are available online on the website but they're 150 dollars for bad seats and i'm like oh um And maybe at least if we don't know about Messi, going to my meeting, at least with Inter Miami, helps me go, can you tell me if Messi's fit? <laughs> so I don't waste my money. <laughs> I've never seen Messi live. I didn't get to see him in Qatar. I went to about, I went to loads of games in Qatar. Getting Argentina tickets was so hard. I got Brazil tickets. Brazil tickets were easier. I, I watched Brazil. Um, getting Portugal tickets was hard, but getting Argentina tickets were really hard. Um, I mean, towards benching Haaland. You guys benching Haaland are mad. Um, no, do, you do you guys. I'm seeing some saying they're going to start Foden over Haaland. I would definitely start Haaland over Foden. Madison or Richardson? Madison for me. You know he'll start. Richardson's not nailed to start this weekend, team. He ain't nailed to start. I hope he doesn't. I want Son down the middle. Guys, if you're uh, watching and you realize you're unsubscribed or you can't add a comment in the chat, to add a comment in the chat, you've got to hit the subscribe button. So please do hit those buttons uh, and like uh, the stream as well. Why is Diaz so ignored in wildcards? I don't know. Diaz is an option. Plays 90 minutes a lot. Really good form for Colombia in the week. One of his assists was just heavenly. Um, yeah, we like him. We like Diaz. It's just because Darwin and Salah are slightly better options, isn't it? Look, maybe I go Diaz next week. There is a world in which I don't go Havertz and I go Diaz uh, alongside Salah. The price, by the way, of Diaz is, I think, cheaper than Havertz as well. Havertz is, no, Havertz is 7.2. Diaz is, what, around 7.5. Diaz is, yeah, 7.5. 
can afford him, though. Uh, why no Saka? Something has to give. You can't have them all, can you? Like, look at my bench, guys. Really? Would you Would you really start anyone other than bench anyone else? Maybe some of you would say you'd bench Haaland or Foden, but not for me. Um, you can't bench Watkins. You can't bench Solanke. You can't bench Son or Palmer. So, yeah, sometimes you've got to bench good players. I think Havertz is a good option, yeah. I think Havertz is a fine option this week, by the way. Uh, De Bruyne and Foden to Salah and Garnaccio, minus four. Don't mind that, to be fair. Yeah, Easter dates are always weird. It's never never a banker. Oh, thanks, David. Yeah, hit that hit that sub, Lurkers. If you're if you're wondering Lurkers, we're we're talking about Lurkers. It's like, yeah, Lurkers are those that perhaps watch the channel lots but don't uh, add comments to the chat, which is fine. Uh, but maybe just to hit those buttons. Havertz or Eze on wildcard. Depends what you're doing in 34, doesn't it? If you're on if you need 34 doublers, then Eze. If you're free hitting in 34, Havertz. Uh, have some difficulty in creating an FPL challenge team. Oh, should be fairly easy. All right, took me minutes. What's your, what's your issue, Enz? Yeah, maybe not. But he's a big game player. You only need half an hour of... De Bruyne to do something. He came on against Newcastle, didn't he? He was game back and got, got two goals. Gustav Bradley. Again, it depends what you're doing in 34. If you're looking for a long-term holding on wildcard, I do prefer Gusto to Bradley. Ah, have a good one, Matthias. And yeah, shout out Gucci again, who gifted your membership. <laughs> I don't think it will be. I think it'll be here next season. Oh, I wonder if it'll be a slightly different version. If they'll change a few bits. Don't know. Wow, would you would you really, Gucci? You'd bench De Bruyne. I can't. I can't. I am hedging though, uh, with goalkeepers. Like many would say I should play Neto. By the way, Newcastle and Bournemouth both have a 26% chance of a clean sheet, if you're into that. Um, but the fact that I've got Zabani, I'm just going one of each. I'm going to Bravka and Zabani. I actually, even if I didn't have Zabani, would be tempted on on De Bravka. I think I'd probably end up there. I just can't forget. Bad as Newcastle have been, and boy, have they been bad defensively in the second half of this season. I can't help but go, it's still a good fixture at home, and we know in their locker somewhere they've got a good home record defensively. KDB does love to score against Arsenal. Yeah, he does. Um, Newcastle versus West Ham would not shock if it's nil-nil. Exactly. Although, perhaps Bournemouth, Everton wouldn't either off-core. I don't know. Everton clock really good XG. I just don't score. They're big XG underachievers, aren't they? Similar to Chelsea. Um, Martinez or Neto, who's better in goal? Probably Emmy. Meniz captain when chasing? Yeah, maybe. Look, Yankee, the thing is with Meniz, as much as I love him, and I, I think he's a good buy, Raul Jimenez is fit. So depending on game state, you, you're probably not getting 90 minutes from Meniz anymore. I don't know. Let's see. He's been so good. He's clearly first choice, but... Could Havertz get benched for Jesus long term? I don't think so, no. Jesus could come in. They could both play. Havertz has multiple entries to the team. By the way, Jesus could also play wide left if Martinelli is injured. Uh, hey, G, have you given Game Week 39 a shower yet? Do you know what? I've not, Sav. And I think the website is going to go live on Monday or Tuesday. So as soon as tickets are available, I will be shouting it out en masse. But yeah. When I can share links and stuff, I will. But Game Week 39 is North versus South, FPL content creators and community members are taking part in a charity football game for Street Child United. Really worthy cause. Great game. South won the first game two years ago. Last year, North won. This is the decider. And me and Sav both pay for the North, but both live in the South. Hmm. Um, to be fair, I think I live like one degree more north than the stadium, which is Birmingham, middle of the country. Therefore, I'm north, but I'm from the south. And Sav is clearly a southerner, a Spurs season ticket holder. You going to Spurs today, Sav? Is it today or tomorrow? When do Spurs play? Yeah, three o'clock today. You'll be leaving soon, won't you? Aviola or Neto? Yeah. 
Probably Neto, because I don't actually think Ariola's a great shout this week. Newcastle will score at home, definitely, surely. Um, yeah, thanks, Offcore. I think we're aligned there. We're always aligned, me and Offcore. Um, mm, mm, mm. There we go, it is today. Sav's going, he's Captain Son. Hey, Sav, share a pick, will you, on the uh, Ultras group. Gucci, one of our Ultras. Uh, Sav doesn't have an icon by his name. It's definitely an Ultra. Um, need to sort that out, don't we, Sav? Um, what's your off-season plans, G? Hmm. Euros. <laughs> I've applied for tickets to see Italy in the Euros. Haven't got them. If I can get tickets, I'd love to go to Germany and watch it in the Euros. I've followed Italy in the last couple of Euros. France 2016, and then the, the European one of, of when Italy won it in 2021. It was branded as 2020 because of COVID. Um, went to the semi-final, Chelsea, Italy. Um, uh, Chelsea, Spain, Italy. So, yeah, I don't know. The 2016 Euros went to every Italy game. So they got knocked out on pens by Germany in the quarters. That was a Conte, Italy. So Euros will be a big part of my summer. And then, yeah, family time, I guess. And then July, it starts up again because FPL will be out, won't it? Uh, any reason not to Captain Palmer? No. No. I like Palmer. I like Palmer a lot. Loads of new faces coming in. I'm seeing loads of new comments, which means it's comments by people that have probably just subscribed. So if you do want to add a comment and you're watching, you've got to hit the subscribe button to be able to comment. Subscriber only mode. Uh, so please do that. Why? Uh, what do you think about Gordon as a wildcard pun? I don't hate it. I guess I prefer Isak a little bit, but Gordon's brilliant. And actually, Gordon's cheaper, so he's perhaps easier to fit in than Isak. France will win. I think France will win the Euros. Hey, Dale. Hope you're well, mate. Hope all is well. We've got 10 minutes to deadline. This is the time where you just lock in, right? This is the time you just go, just going to, even if you've locked in, this is the time you go, have I definitely captained that player? Have I definitely got my bench order right? Am I happy with my team? You know, you've probably done it before where you've gone, oh, my bench order is completely wrong or I didn't put the right goalkeeper in or why is the armband on that player and not that player? So just lock that in, which I'm doing now on my phone as we speak. Just imagine. Um, so annoying if you don't get that right. So I'm going... What is my rank? I put it in the bottom strap. You know, my 68k. I'm just posting on Instagram. I always put it out first on Insta. It's just a thing um, I like to do. Uh, I'm trusting you and Chai for Son Captain. Oh, Neil, no. I mean, to be fair, Chai couldn't love Son anymore. And Chai um, didn't captain him last week. So even as someone that loves Son as much as Chai does, even he didn't captain him last week when everyone else did, Neil. So the fact that he's gone... Some this week. I think you should. Uh, 68K um, in the world and Bradley in for Doughty. Locked. I'm locked. There we go. Now I can post. Sorry, team. Got a bit distracted there. I realised I hadn't done it. I usually post a couple of hours before. Um... Are you doing a Monday stream with Dean? Yes, I will be on Chasing Green Arrows on Monday and Big Man on Tuesday. And then this channel, doing a deadline stream on Tuesday. Uh, Isak, probably the best forward to own this game week. Yes, yeah, like Neil's gone Isak on his wild card. I do still prefer Darwin and Jackson just, but I get it. Isak's a great pick. That's fine, Jordan. Using your wildcard. This is a good week to wildcard still. Like, I do prefer 35-36, but it's team dependent. So many dead-ended their team in game week 29 to free, because they to avoid the free hit, that they've got a rubbish team in 30 and they have to wildcard. And that's completely understandable. And that, for many, will allow them to free hit in 34, which is going to be fire, by the way. I don't have that. Um, oh, my God, Dale. We all got 15 points, mate. I free hit 19 points. Um, but yeah, that is funny. 
Uh, just because you watch my stream though doesn't make, mean you make all the moves I say. I hope you still you still think for yourselves. Isak injuries is his biggest gamble. It is, but a player's not injured till they're injured, right? And Isak did. I think he played 180 minutes for Sweden, by the way. So he's clearly fine because um, Isak's not a player that has to play for his international team. Like he's guaranteed to start, right? Um, and I think he played 180. So you'd think he feels fine, feels good to do that. Um, and then as soon as he's injured, yeah, you have an easy sell. And the good thing is at Isak's price point, if you do need to sell him, you can go to a Solanke. You can maybe find enough for a Watkins. You can go to a Darwin or a Jackson. There's there's loads of options around 7.5. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't mess up your team dynamic much at all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chai would say that. Langer or Tony, Leno or Neto. I like Tony for United, you know. Brentford United's always a good game, isn't it? Always a good game. Oh, well done, Enzo, for joining the Challenge League. Yeah, the, the, if you want to join the leagues, the uh, code's on the bottom strap. Not just a Challenge League, but join my normal FPL League. I'm going to give away a good prize as well. Um, yep. We've got nine minutes to deadline. Nine minutes. And because I'm, because I'm, I don't know, always worried. I'm just going to, just going to 100% double check that I've, uh, I've got the right decision. Oh, what's the story of Manaz? Yeah, he's fine. He's fit. He is great. Do you know what? He's got a really good attacking record from his previous club. He's a right back that attacks. Odegaard suck. And Foden to Eze. Don't think I'd do that for a minus four, if I'm honest. I like Foden and Odegaard still. I know this week isn't great for them. Tripper and Isaac, always good to have players in the first game. Yeah. The Bravka baby. Uh, come on, Maniz. Yeah. Anana or Petrovic? Probably Petrovic for me. Anana has been a very good FPL option this week. Yeah, though. You can't deny it. Like, I started the season with Anana and he was rubbish. But he's actually been quite a good FPL asset. Like, when we look at goalkeepers this season, in terms of top points, Anana's not too far behind, is he? Like, Leno's... No. He's joined. Leno and Anna, both on 105. Ariola 104, Pickford 100. Yeah. Good man, Gucci. Back in that early kickoff, having some fun with it. Why not? Why not? Uh, guys, thank you for all those that have hit those buttons. Uh, we've had a couple of sign up as channel members today uh, and subscribing as well. Thank you for your subs. Any new subscribers out there, welcome to the channel. Uh, Palmer FOMO is huge. Yeah, Palmer's a great shout. I'd go Petrovic, Giovanni for his multiple doubles. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Chelsea do concede shots. Or so do United, let's be honest. United concede more. Um, but yeah, Petrovic, do it. Thoughts on the new fantasy challenge? I don't know. Like, let's see. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I like the different points every week. Let's see. This is my team. I just back, pick three or four teams and go big. Remember, you can have up to five players a team. If no wild card, is the bench boost in game week 34 still viable? No news on trips. I reckon he'll start. If no wild card, is the bench boost therefore still viable? Mm. Yeah. Or 37. Yeah. Of course, free transfers. We have six minutes to go. Hmm. 
Do, do, do. Just make sure your team is locked. I get so nervous about it. Does anyone else do that? Just like three or four times go, just going to check the app. Just going to check it's locked. Just check my transfer went through. That would be cool. Free hit 38 can be loads of fun. You just pick players with that, that, that big ceiling on the final day. We do see more goals on the final day than pretty much any other game week. Free at 38 is fun. Uh, I'm scared because I took out Watkins. Ooh, yeah. But look, loads are going to be taking out Watkins. Loads on wildcard have taken out Watkins. I think if I was on wildcard, I wouldn't have Watkins. So that's 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 cool. That's fine. Um, it feels like a very chill deadline. Not going to lie. Like usually at this point, we've got tons of questions about like good legit. I'm not sure what to do questions, but it doesn't feel. It feels quite obvious this week. Captaincy is clearly a big one this week, and Salah versus Son is a big debate. But I think those that own both. If I own both, I'd be going Son. If I owned, honestly, even if I owned Salah and I didn't own Son, I think I'd go Palmer. I think I would. Oh, Easter plans. What are we doing? I'm heading out with the fam. So at 11 o'clock, I'm over an hour. No pool for me today, guys. If you're hanging around for pool, I would just hit a couple of balls. But my daughter's sleeping and... I know, I know the pool balls could wake her up and it's not worth it. She is grumpy today, proper grumpy today. So I need her to stay asleep for at least another half an hour. And if I start hitting balls, I went Bradley because the upside of Bradley is bigger than any other defender in the game at the moment, I think. Like literally the, over the next two weeks. Name me a player in the next two weeks that offers more upside than Bradley. Oh, and by the way, it's 4.2, you know? So transfer out waiting to happen. I know that. But I just like the upside. I know it's controversial. I know many would go, no, he's not nailed. Trent will be back soon. But I, Trent isn't back for the next two games. And he plays two home games versus Brighton and Sheffield United. I'm, buy, I'm buying a ticket to the lottery, right? I'm buying a lottery ticket and he could hit, he could hit big. He has a higher chance of hitting big than any other defender in the game in the next two weeks, I believe. So that's why. That's why. Augusto's another one, by the way. Very good, very good chance of a goal, Gusto, coming up. Gusto didn't get in the French squad. He got in the under-21 squad and then pulled out, which I love. He's like, under-21s? Doing that? Uh, there you go. Luke bought Bradley as well. And Neil uh, wildcarded Bradley and a few have gone Bradley. Like It's not that controversial. Um, Yeah, I don't need to swap to Bravka for a doubler, though, because I've got Neto on a double, Sav. Start Poro or Gusto. Jeez, both. Both, both, both. You have to start both. It's a really good game week for both. Is there nothing you can do? You can bench someone else, Jordan. Um, no, and Bradley. You've got to start all three of them. Saka or Bowen. It might mean you drop a midfielder. Saka or Bowen. Saka. Play Solanke or... Oh, thanks, Sav. Slanky or Ezzy? Probably Slanky. Home advantage. When I'm X or Y, I play the home player. Seconds left, guys. Oh, God, Jordan, you have got a good team. Drop out eight, Nori. Pro mm, yeah. Play four. Play back four. Good questions, guys. Thank you. Bradley Salad in next week. Yeah. Although I do feel with Bradley, it might be too late by next week because that's one game less you're going to get because he's only going to get a few, Rich. But Salah, definitely. Let's see. We might hear more about Trent by next game de deadline. That is Tuesday, so we get fewer chances. Um, so, yeah. Deadline is up. Ooh, how are we feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Good luck this 
game week. Too late. Not even going to answer. Not even going to answer your questions. Can we do more G and Dean and Chai streams? Yes, we can, 87. I'm sure we can on Chasing Green Arrows. Yes, yes, yes. Love, love that. It was so much fun yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, feeling good, Sammy. I'm glad you are. Glad you are. Um, a few of you have just recently come in and subscribed. So welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Uh Son of Salah for captain. Guys, if any of you have really enjoyed, it's too late now. Deadline's passed. It's locked. It's locked. Like, it's definitely locked, isn't it? Like, everyone's still asking questions. Yeah, game is updating. Done. Uh, look, final shout out from me, right? If you've really enjoyed today's stream, then do consider becoming a channel member. Like, Sammy is a channel member. You can see the icon by his name. Of course, a channel member, you can see the icon by his name. You would have noticed, like, Denise, the same. All channel member comments, Rich, the same. All of these guys um, are brought onto screen all the time um, because they're a channel member. So if you want to be a channel member, then you can sign up for 2 99 a month. Um, and if you want to be an Ultras member, that's WhatsApp group, you can do that too. So just click the Join button. If you're watching on phone, I don't think it shows, but if you're on laptop or computer or iPad, the Join button underneath. Uh Shout out Sav, who's off to Spurs. Go well. Oh, no, all good. Like, clearly, like, no worries, British 87. You're always, you're one of our regulars and your comments are always up as well. Um, no, you save your money. Um, Mudrick apparently left out of squad. Oh, why? He's so good for Ukraine. Honestly, Neil, I'm gutted with that news. Hopefully, it's not a bad injury or anything, but let's see. Oh, uh, thanks, off call. Yeah. Yeah, extra couldn't come on a regular basis. Thanks, mate. Oh, that's rubbish, 87. Well, fingers crossed your new job comes up soon, and yeah, don't worry about stuff like memberships. Um, best of luck to Rich. Ultra worth it, says Gucci. Ah, thanks, guys. Can't recommend it enough. Oh, all you guys are amazing. I will be back on Tuesday for another deadline special. Uh, so what's the deadline on Tuesday? What time are we at on Tuesday for our deadlines? Is it, it's like, is it a 6.30 deadline? So I'll be live at 5.30 maybe, maybe 5. Um, that'd be fun. Um, and I'll be on Chasing Green Arrows on Monday as well. There we go. Will we be going to the Burnley game? No, I don't actually go to Chelsea much because I live so far away. A couple of times a season. Yeah. yeah. Neil, we should definitely do a Chelsea game. Um, anyway. Lovely to chat, team. I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Good luck. Come on, Sonny. Let's do this. If Salah outscores Son, I'm done. Uh.